iOS 26 public beta has been out for a week and I've been using it on my iPhone 16 Pro Max. In this video, I'll be talking about battery life, battery health, bugs, and any issues that I've experienced and whether I think you should download it for yourself and try it out or wait for the full release that's coming later this year. Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. And I wanna start and get right into it with battery life. And so battery life has been honestly pretty poor for me. I use my phone a lot. I'm on social media a lot. It's part of the YouTube journey, just being on socials, keeping up and things like that. The battery drain has been noticeable for me and that's coming on an iPhone 16 Pro Max. If you're coming from a phone like an iPhone 11 or an iPhone 12 that the battery isn't even close to as big as the iPhone 16 Pro Max, your battery is going to suffer. I do wanna keep that in mind for you if you are getting the public beta, that if you have an older device, you're definitely gonna have issues with battery life like I am right now. So today I tested it, I got home around five o'clock and I had about 38% battery life. I used my phone a little bit today, not as much as usual, so it was a little bit higher than the other days that I've been using the beta. Now, just three hours later, my phone had dropped to 24%. So it's a pretty significant drop. And honestly, in that three hours, I barely used my phone. And I'm actually using it right now. I just wanna show how far this battery can go. And so my battery life right now, while I'm running this video, is dropping pretty quickly as well. It's already under 20%. I've been on social media, I've been in my email, I've been on other apps like CapCut, editing videos. I've done everything normally that I would do on this device and battery is just going to suffer. Now for battery health, my battery health is still at 100%, which is great. I haven't had any issues with my battery health yet. Now, as far as heating issues, I have had some overheating. Not to where I can't hold the phone, but it is a little bit uncomfortable. I noticed that it was pretty hot. I don't know why when I was checking email. So I had about 100 unread emails and my phone was just burning hot going through email and I'm not quite sure why. The A18 Pro chip should easily be able to process all that and shouldn't cause any heating. Another time that I've had a little bit of heating is just being in my camera a lot. I can touch it right now and it feels a little bit hot not too hot actually it's feeling pretty good right now sometimes when i've been editing photos in lightroom or editing a video in CapCut, it just feels really hot and so that's kind of problematic long term i'm sure that apple will fix this by the final release but that's what is happening right now in the public beta for me as far as performance and smoothness I would say it's actually really good. The liquid glass design is both aesthetically pleasing and just so smooth. Like iOS was feeling boring for years and this just feels so much better in my opinion. I love all of the design changes that they've made. I have no issues with it. I love the way the lock screen looks. I love the clear icons that just is super nice. I love the customization changes that Apple has brought. I love the option to make the clock huge. And honestly, the big thing that we're really looking at in terms of just what am I wanting to see come in iOS 26, and it's really all of the AI features that we've been waiting for with Apple intelligence. I've grown really fond of ChatGPT. I've been using the assistant more, like just talking to it and it's become uncanny how good the AI assistant can be. And if Apple can get to that level where it's just so seamless and it feels like I'm talking to a real person, that's game changing for my everyday workflows and how I operate. And so I'm really hopeful that later this year we can see some of those AI features that we've really been wanting. It's kind of crazy in the public beta from the comments online, I've seen a lot of people expecting to see these AI features. Apple intelligence is a big reason why people got the iPhone 16 series and it's still some of that stuff just really isn't here yet. So we're all kind of waiting for that. I haven't had any consistent crashes, no bugs or anything like that that has just been terrible. For the most part, it's been pretty good for me. I did have one time where it crashed and honestly, Honestly, I'm not too sure why, but it did crash. And since then it hasn't crashed at all. All of my apps, from what I can tell, both Apple apps and third-party apps have behaved normally for me. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all have been pretty much perfect. Apple Messages, WhatsApp, those kind of apps have been solid as well, no issues. And ChatGPT, like I said, it's working flawlessly. So all of the apps are perfect 
and are working great for iOS 26. FaceTime's been good, phone has been good. I haven't used the new gaming app once. Apple TV has been good, watching content's fine. So the phone is working as expected. It's flawless. One of the things that was really complained about was the liquid glass and just being able to read it. I find reading liquid glass and looking at things on there, it looks fine for me. I'm actually a little bit disappointed. I do wish they would revert the control center to make it more liquid back to like beta one. That was like, looked amazing in my opinion. I know a lot of people complained about it, but for me, I think it was totally fine. I would like to see that come back. And that has been my experience with iOS 26. So I asked some people how their experience has been like on iOS 26 public beta. And the range of comments is always funny to me. So I'll read a couple off just because it's interesting. You know, my experience is not going to be your experience. So I could sit here and say, oh, my experience has been pretty perfect as most of the time my iOS experience is, there's gonna be an iOS user that just has a bad experience. So it just varies depending on the person. Uh, this user said, not bad, it isn't quite there yet, could be awesome when it matures. I agree, I'm excited to see where iOS goes over the next couple years and just how it fully forms into what Apple is expecting it to be. I think it's exciting times. Justin right here said drains battery quicker. Definitely battery life is going to drain a lot. Another user right here, Ryan, phone is definitely warm, but it's good. So we're seeing that bad battery, phone heating up. Someone here that doesn't like liquid glass, iOS 26 is good, except for liquid glass, which iOS 26 is all liquid glass, but that's beside the point, which is a disaster. It's too bad the UI overshadows the good software engineering. Yeah, that's your opinion. I think part of what makes the software engineering and the way Liquid Glass is interacting with the interface is incredible. I don't think anyone has done anything like that before and we'll probably see a ton of other Android skins and other brands copy this Liquid Glass design. So we'll see, maybe it is terrible, maybe it is a disaster and Apple could backtrack in a couple years, but maybe not. Maybe it's the future of the way OS is going to interact and be. Jay says, really solid so far. Still seems to drain battery a bit more than usually. That's more feel that fact at the moment. Yeah, I think, I think I get what you're saying there, Jay. A bit laggy in some spots, but overall very stable and no major issues. Loving the new look. Another person, Itu, I think that's the way you say your name. Laggy and overheating, but UI looks good. So if you feel in your heart that you really just really want to try out iOS 26, I would recommend if you can wait two more months, why not? But I feel like if you're into it, you know, you know what you're getting into, you know the potential risk. I'm not going to say do it, but you can do it if you want. So if it crashes, you know, your iPhone's not working good. Don't blame me. I didn't tell you you should download it, right? But I love the UI tweaks. The animations look great. I was a little bit disappointed to see there's no new widgets or anything like that. It's just kind of the same in that sense. I do feel like iOS has improved. We are at the next evolution of iOS. I do think in the beginning of when the full release comes out, there's gonna be a lot of complainers and a lot of people that love it. If you've downloaded it, let us know here, this comment section right here, let us know what your experience has been like because my experience, it's not enough. We need to know your experience as well. And so comment below what your experience has been like. Tell us also too, this is important. Tell us the iPhone that you're using so we can get a, you know, someone that's using an iPhone 11 may have a worse experience than someone using an iPhone 15. So we wanna hear also your experience and the phone that you're using. As always guys, I really appreciate you all watching. I just hit 70K subscribers on my channel and I can't believe it. I really could never have even imagined that number. It's kind of hard to really wrap my mind around it, but I do want to try to hit 100K by the end of this year. And so if you're willing and you like this kind of content, please hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy iOS 26 public beta and all eyes on the upcoming iPhone event that's gonna be happening in September and the full release of iOS 26 coming then. As always guys, thank you so much for watching, God bless, and I will see you on the next video.